Okay guys, this is a video of the RSNA conference for 2016. This is the main, one of the main hallways, I guess. Uh, this side here is the north end of the convention center, the north hall. That is the south hall. And someone told me there's also an east and west, so um, I know that today I'm going to go ahead and explore the north hall. And I'll show, show you guys some of the stuff that's in here. Um, they got a Starbucks, of course, over there. They also have one downstairs, and they probably have several others. I can't, I can't even explain to you how big this place is. The RSNE has its own shop. So, again, I've said it before, it's like Comic-Con, but it's for X-Ray. Comic-Con X-Ray, but no one's dressed up in cool costumes. I should have wore mine, but you know, gotta be professional. All right, I'll stop at some cool booths and I'll show you guys some stuff. Is that hot? You got a hot stuff for you? Yeah, obviously you're not gonna do it that way. Look at this thing, Rich. There's fish in there. Or there's a couple different themes you can choose from, but you may have seen stuff like this before, Rich, but anyway, I'm trying to get Dr. Ellison to buy it. <laughs> it's really cool. I guess it's just for heads. Primarily for heads, right? For this, oh really? Any, anything. No, what I mean is um, for the, you know, for the, yeah. And for the, um, you know, for them to look at the fish and stuff like that. No, they can look at that, yeah. They would have to be in the floor to do that. Oh, okay. You can select all of it over there. There's a little iPad you can change, whatever. Okay, check out these cool colors that these mammal machines come in. They're almost like those KitchenAid blenders, mixers, I should say. Plan med. Kind of interesting. Got some images to look at here. idea what this is. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Do you have any questions? Um, I'm making a little video for my sure, co-workers, sure, um, sure, but I'm not familiar I'm familiar with those machines, but the, not not what this is. What, so what is this? This is, a, this is a CT unit. It's an extremity CT oh, for okay. bone. Cool. And the dose versus a large CT, it's four to eight times less than medical CT. So you would just use it for extremities only then? Yeah, obviously. and you can do what's revolutionary about it is we can do the weight-bearing scans. We can do, uh, you know, if you're doing a, a foot and ankle scan, yeah. we can have you in true weight-bearing position and capture the scan. So if there's any, like, bones coming into play, bone-on-bone -bone contact, right, you can right. see it. Uh, wow. You can, you can also do maxial facial, hand, wrist, elbow, wow. knee, and foot and ankle. That's cool. Yeah. That's it's small it, enough. It's all touch menu. So, let's say you want to do a, an ankle, you would hit ankle. Right. And then you just hit play here. And then what's going to happen is the machine's going to adjust itself. Position it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll stop it real quick. If you want to do a weight bearing, you would hit weight bearing. If you notice the gantry flips up on end, so you hit play now. Now it's going to allow you to oh, set wow. it up for a weight bearing position scan. And how much weight can it can the, hold? The unit, so. Uh, it's rated for 400 pounds, but we can go four times that weight. But, you know, for FDA approval, you have to be able to go three to four times of what you're putting oh, in the okay. classification of the weight. Okay. So I'm uh, 240 pounds, and I'll jump on it for you once it locks to show you that it handles <laughs> a big guy. Because um, sometimes we get them, you know, bigger than you, obviously. Yeah, I mean, oh, you're yeah. tall, but yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Absolutely. So once it's down, this is not the right adapter here. It tells you to put a special stool in. Uh-huh. This thing will come out here. Support. I see. 
and just to show you how big I am. And yeah. No problem. It holds me. That's cool. Yeah. And then for a way better experience. Comes that stool for the patient, yeah. Yeah, this is an adapter. It'll tell you to put the adapter in. So you, you, you click the adapter in oh, like okay. that. And then if you notice, this is cut just like the bore is cut. Oh, I see. And you put the... Oh, right. Yeah, and that's going to go in there and trap the chair so we get no movement. I see. You have a little step stool here. You ask the patient to walk Right. In, get in position. The lasers are going to show you your oh, field wow. of view. And then we have the diaper here. So once the patient's in position, this is just magnets. Uh-huh. We should find a home for it. There we go. So there's no additional shielding for the patients themselves. Oh, okay. We go in, this goes on. Right. And then they don't have to worry about the weight of the, of the lead and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. That's cool. And then he, does it come in different colors? Yeah, yeah. We have uh, we have a pink one there. Wow. We have green. We have uh, like a yellowish color, a charcoal color. Kind of like the mammal machines, right? Mm -hmm. so yeah, like, exactly. I was saying it was like, it looks like those KitchenAid mixers, you know, at Target. <laughs> yeah, <happy laughs> but you colors. know, every little bit helps sometimes. It does. You know, and it gives something them to be different. Yeah, it's funny too because sometimes they get the end of the sale and they're going, "What color?" It's almost like I wish I didn't give you. <laughs> That's choices. the most difficult yeah. decision when you're spending want? all this money. The Children's Hospital of Pennsylvania got the pink one because we're doing children. Right, right. It's a nice, They're friendlier nice, color. Yeah. It's a machine he's showing me. I noticed some suction cups on the end of it. This mammo machine. I'm making a video for my co workers here. All right. All right. So, Basically, you just, you just, okay. just insert them, and then the system will automatically recognize Feeds it in of, there? Yeah. Okay. Taps on them. And then you fix them. Under the bar up here, <clears throat> and this grabs how much more percentage of tissue on uh, average? Up to thirty percent more breast tissue wow. in the field of view. And we've done studies, and the radiographers in Europe, so they have stated that uh, in each case where they use the max view sheets, they will be able to get more breast tissue pulled into the field of view, and it's especially useful. Um, when it's used with uh, patients with dense and smaller breasts. Interesting. So, and then it also eases you to do your positioning work because you don't have to manually, you know, pull, right. in, pull mm -hmm. in the breast. So you just um, apply a bit of compression and once the sheets kind of kick in when you have traction, then you use either the, the foot pedal right okay. here in the middle right. or then the console here to gently pull in the, pull in the breast. Oh, okay. So it's a very useful innovation, helps the, the radiographer to do uh, the positioning easier, faster, and also she doesn't have to keep her hands, you know, um, yeah. be between the paddles. Yeah, a lot of times, I've smashed my hands quite a few times on small breasts. Yeah. <laughs> I end up crushing my hand before I even yeah. get to the breast tissue yeah, sometimes, so. So, so I mean, um, it's, it's all about kind of the plan med, uh, you know, design language and, and our philosophy, so of course we want to make nice compact easy to use right. very robust units that look good but they also we want uh, the radiographers the operators to enjoy have using a, them and, and have an easier time yeah. um what's this, the purpose of the screen here um this is called the planment clarity flow um kind of system so here we have configured the the unique workflow for let's say for for uh, radiographer a and she wants to start with the right CC oh, view. Okay. And then when she's done, done with that, uh, then she just presses play and the unit will automatically drive to the following uh, view. As far as marking the image goes, you mean? Just uh, left CC versus yeah, right? Yeah, marking the image, but, but also, I mean, the unit the, 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 it will drive automatically to the, to the next position. So you don't have to run back and forth between okay. the workstation sta and, and, and the unit. And then also you can configure you can configure from the service and configuration me menu. So, so um, on an MLO, does it automatically go to the, you know, does it automatically angle off 45 degrees or when you, you know, when you yeah. click on MLO or yeah, do you have course, to position course. it yourself? Wow. Of course, it will, it will automatically do and obviously you have, uh, you have set your, your angles uh, previously and, and even oh, for, see. let's say that I mean, obviously, in, in, in a clinic, usually all the operators, they, they, their MLO views, let's say 45 degrees or 50 degrees. But 
in when you compare clinic to clinic, and they might have their different procedures, their, their, their different preferences. So everything can be said. You can add additional views here. You can take some views out. So you will only see the views that you're actually using. So we can discard, get rid of all that excess information that might disturb your workflow.